Hello, so this is going to be a draw with me video in which I will be drawing something on Clip Studio Paint on my computer and you can just sort of follow along, hear what I have to say about my process and hopefully this helps you. I'm very sorry in advance because my keyboard is directly in front of my microphone so if I use it at all for any commands you're probably going to hear it but I don't know how else to set up my desk right now so that's how it's supposed to, how it's going to be. So to start out with my process I have just Clip Studio Paint open, I guess, which is what I use to draw. So my usual size when I'm making a canvas is going to be in inches, and I usually go for eight by 10 and 300 DPI, and it's in color as opposed to gray or monochrome, just because we're obviously gonna be using color in this piece. Um, the paper color is white. There's no templates for any rulers or anything, just because I don't, I don't usually draw for printing in, in general. If I were doing comics or something, or if I, might, if I was working on an illustration that was going to be sent to a printer, I might use those settings, but I don't really use them in general. So we're going to make this new canvas, and I think that I'm going to be drawing my D&D character Laris today, just because I don't know why. He just popped into my head as I was coming up with the concept for this video. I have no predetermined ideas for what I'm going to be drawing, so you're going to be seeing me coming up with this concept in real time, pretty much, which is going to be an adventure because I take a long time when sketching. So what the pencil that I use is this brush called Pencil. It is from the pack by Ray Frendon. He has a brush pack that costs about $16 on his store. I think it's a Gumroad store, I believe, but it has over 800 brushes in it, and I do have that pack. I specifically use this brush, though, just because I love it so much on Clip Studio Paint. I don't know why. It's something about the texture. So also in this video, I'm going to be fast forwarding or like... um just skipping ahead, I guess, for certain parts of it, just because it's going to be very long otherwise, probably like a couple hours at least, just because that's how, how long it takes for me to make a piece. So to start out, I will begin by testing my brushes a little bit, first of all, just to see what a good size is. If I zoom in on this brush, you can sort of see there's a nice texture to it. It's not tilt sensitive. I don't know if this tablet does have tilt pressure or tilt sensitivity, but I just, there's something about the texture that I just really like about this brush. That looks like a dollar sign, I just realized. Um, I did not mean for that to happen. But if you make it smaller, it becomes a little bit less noticeable. While if you make it very big, it's sort of very fuzzy. I don't usually use this brush as in very big settings just for that reason. I don't like how fuzzy it looks, but I just really like the texture when it's got that nice middle ground to it. So to start out, I'm going to zoom out of my canvas and just start doing some preliminary sketching just to get a good idea for the composition, the pose, the line of action, all that fun stuff. Um, there's not really a good middle ground on this on the zoom in for this. Like it goes from 12.5 to 25, which I'm sure that if I did, oh wait, hold on. No, there is a slight middle ground, but my tablet has like a ring on it that you can use to zoom in and out. I have that's what I have it set to. My tablet, by the way, is the XP Pen 15.6 Pro tablet, which I just got this last year. I do like it a lot. I have a specific stand I got on Amazon, which sets it up at a higher angle than the one that it comes with. The default stand that it comes with has it set up at a pretty low angle. That's not very ideal for using it as a second monitor like I do. So I end up buying a different stand on Amazon just for that specific reason. And I honestly like the higher angle for drawing too because it means that I'm not leaning over my desk as I'm working. I can just sort of sit at a nice angle and draw. You might hear my elbow crack on this desk because the way that I am positioned, it will do that. So that's gonna be fun. Um, so let's see, enough talking, let's start drawing. So that was four minutes, wow, okay. Um, let's see, usually the way that I start is I'll just be doing some vague line of actions to see which one sort of speaks to me the most. Again, I have no concept of what I'm going to be doing with this piece, so I'm just going to be making stuff up as I go. Um, maybe like, I know that on my iPad a couple weeks ago, I did this nice sketch of Laris in a pose sort of like this. Sort of like, well I just did a pose where the leg is like that almost, so maybe I'll do something different because I don't want to be repetitive. Also. For my um, settings on my tablet, I have the shortcut key set up to do to be various things that I find useful so I don't have to keep reaching over to my keyboard. Like one of the buttons is the pan button, I have undo, I have redo, what is this one? 
that one's not anything. I have transform and then also the zoom in and zoom out, obviously. On my pen, I have a, an eyedropper tool and I also have a, the other button set to C, which sets the brush to the transparent, the, the transparent setting so that I use that as an eraser as I'm drawing without having to keep clicking over to the eraser tool. I find that's very, that's that helps my process out quite a bit. Um, let's see. 